In this video, I'm going to talk about the various safety functions that are available on the ASM7 option card for the 400V EtherCAT Servo Pack. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. Here's a quick preview. Many different safety functions are available on the ASM7 option card for different machine safety needs. The Safe Torque Off function is available so that the safety card can disconnect the motor from being controlled by the amplifier. Safe standstill functions are used to monitor the motor as it is brought to a stop and while it is stopped. Safe motion functions are used to monitor motor speed, direction, acceleration, and torque. If any of the previous conditions are violated, safe standstill functions are triggered, except for safe cam, which sets a safety output. Safe position functions monitor the position of the motor and trigger safe standstill functions when the position conditions are violated. Safe monitoring functions are available for setting outputs when entering an unsafe state. More information about the ASM7 option card can be found in a separate video that can be found on Yaskawa's website or YouTube channel. Now let's look at these in a little more detail. 16 total safety functions are available on the ASM7 with IO option card, where only 14 safety functions are available on the ASM7 without IO option card. This is because the safe motor temperature and safely limited torque functions require a dual channel analog input that is only available on the ASM7 with IO option card. The manual separates the safety functions into the following types. Safe switch off, safe standstill, safe motion, safe positioning, and safe monitoring. I'm going to start by explaining the safe switch off safety function type. This type of function disconnects the motor from the output of the amplifier electrically, which isolates the motor so it can't be controlled by the machine controller. There is only one function that is part of this type, and that is the safe torque off function. Let me explain how the safe torque off function works. Looking at the diagram, when the machine is running and the emergency stop is pushed, the safe PLC triggers the STO function operation on the ASM7 card over EtherCAT. The output power going to the motor is removed internally by base blocking the IGPT transistors that send power out to the motor. This causes the motor to coast to a stop in an uncontrolled manner because the motor is electrically disconnected from the amplifier output. Dynamic braking is used if enabled to bring the motor to a stop sooner. The logic board is still powered because only the motor output was disconnected from the power source. While the STO function is triggered, the amplifier will be in the hardware base block, otherwise known as HBB, amplifier state. Once the emergency stop is cleared, the servo needs to be re-enabled before the motor will resume operation. This function is considered to be the basic safe function because the motor will not move under the amplifier's control until the emergency stop is removed because the motor power is disconnected from the amplifier's output. This function is available on all of the Sigma 7 amplifiers using the CN8 connector. The ASM card allows this function to be triggered over failsafe over EtherCAT, whereas the CN8 connector needs an e-stop or safety switch connected to it to activate it. Safe standstill functions are used to monitor the load as it is decelerating to a stop. There are five functions that are part of the safe standstill function type. The safe stop functions monitor the motor as it decelerates to a stop, and the safe operating stop function is used to monitor the motor position while it is stopped. There are four safe stop functions available. How are these four functions different from each other? Safe stop 1 functions monitor the deceleration of the load by timer deceleration rate, and when stopped, they trigger the safe torque off function to electrically disconnect the motor from the amplifier output. The safe stop 2 functions monitor the deceleration of the load by timer deceleration rate, and when stopped they trigger the safe operating stop function, which monitors the motor position without disconnecting the motor from the amplifier. During safe operating stop, the amplifier still maintains control of the motor. If the motor moves further than the defined operating stop limits, then the STO function will trigger and remove amplifier control from the motor. This function is not considered to be an emergency stop function, like safe torque off, because the power is not removed from the motor when this function is active. Consider the situation where an operator approaches a machine, such as a winder, with a large spinning roll. The machine should decelerate to a stop under this situation. After this roll stops moving, SOS would be activated by the ASM7 to monitor the roll position. SOS ensures that the motor truly does not move any more than the specified position limits. If for any reason the roll does move outside those limits, SOS will execute STO, which effectively disconnects the motor. However, the expected operation is for the roll to remain inside the SOS limits when stopped. 
Then when the operator moves away, the roll can start moving again, and the safety PLC requests the ASM7 to deactivate SOS. The advantage to using SOS instead of STO in this type of scenario is that the motor can remain enabled and motion can resume with fewer delays pertaining to the servo on sequence. The next type of safety functions are the ones that, when triggered, monitor the motion of the motor in different ways. Motion safety monitoring can be done by looking at motor speed, direction, acceleration, and torque. It is important to remember that these functions are just monitoring functions. They do not control the motor in any way. So when a safety function is triggered, the motion might have to be adjusted to stay within the allowable range of the safety functions. The safe cam function monitors the position of the motor. If the position goes above the max limit or below the minimum limit, this function resets a safe output. When violated, this function does not trigger a safe standstill function, but only resets an output bit. This output can be used to notify the operator when the machine has moved outside the defined safety limits. Consider the situation where an operator is running a press that is compressing plastic into a mold. This machine uses two motors, one for moving the tray in and out of the machine, and one to compress the plastic into the mold. Each motor has its own ASM7 card for safety. When the compression process is finished, the tray moves out of the machine for the operator to remove the plastic part. When the plastic part is removed, the tray moves back into the machine. Safe cam is activated via the ASM7 on the tray motor when the compression process is started. If the tray is not fully within the operating position limits, the safe cam output is set so that the compression process will not occur. When the tray is in the correct location, the compression process can occur and mold another part. The safety limited speed function monitors the max speed of the motor. This function can be used to prevent high speed operation when an operator or device is within a certain area around the machine. Consider the situation where an operator is approaching a winding machine, similar to the one pictured here. A ASM7 card is connected to the amplifier that controls the motor that is winding the material. When the operator moves within the yellow tape surrounding the machine, the proximity sensors notify the safety PLC, which triggers the safely limited speed function on the ASM7 card. The machine controller lowers the speed of the machine to be within the limits of the safely limited speed function. If the operator leaves the machine, the safely limited speed function will be deactivated and operation can continue as it normally would. If the winding speed had increased past the defined monitoring limit, a safe standstill function would have activated to monitor the machine as the machine controller brought it to a stop. The safe speed range function monitors the motor velocity and makes sure that it does not exceed the defined upper and lower velocity limits. This function prevents the motor from operating at a speed that could damage the machine or hurt an operator because of an oscillating or unbalanced load. Consider the following situation where a mixer is mixing a product. Going at too low of a speed could cause the product to not mix well. If the speed is too fast, the mixture could create an offset load and start to resonate the mixing container. When the mixer starts spinning, the safe speed function is activated from the safe PLC on the ASM7 to monitor the speed of the motor. If the speed dips below or goes above the safety speed limits, a safe standstill function will be activated to monitor the machine as the machine controller brings it to a stop. The safe direction function monitors the rotation direction of the motor. This prevents tool damage on CNC's and prevents parts of the machine from re-entering an operator safe area. Consider the following situation where a crane is lifting a container and a person is passing by and walks under the container. Safety sensors on the crane notify the safety PLC, which triggers the safe direction function on both ASM7 cards, which monitors the motor direction. The container cannot be lowered, only raised until the function is deactivated. After the person leaves the zone under the container, the safe direction function is deactivated and the container can be lowered. If the container was lowered while the safe direction function was active, a safe standstill function would have been automatically triggered to monitor the motor as the machine controller brought it to a stop. The safety limited acceleration function monitors the acceleration rate of the motor. The danger zone around the machine is reduced when this function is used. Consider the following situation where people are working around the following package sorting machine. The gantry picks up the large boxes from the belted conveyors and places them on the roller conveyors. High acceleration of the gantry mechanism in any direction while carrying a box could cause the box to fall out of the gripper onto the floor or other parts of the machine. There are multiple motors in this machine, so each motor amplifier has an ASM7 card attached to it for safety. 
When the gripper grabs a box, a signal is sent to the safety PLC to activate the safely limited acceleration function on the ASM7 cards for the three gantry motors. The acceleration of the three motors on the gantry arm are monitored by the ASM7 cards. If the acceleration goes over the safety limit defined by the safely limited acceleration function, then a safe standstill function is activated to monitor the motors as the machine controller brings the machine to a stop. The safely limited torque function monitors the torque of the motor independently of the motor direction. This prevents dangerous situations when an operator is working in relation to a machine. For this application to have a safety integrity level of 3, a dual channel analog input is required. The ASM7 IO card is required for this operation and provides the dual channel analog input. Consider the following situation where the operator is working with the following milling machine. The operator removes the finished part and reinserts a new part for the machine to process in the three stations. The rotary table moves the part from one station to the next. If one of the milling bits is still working on the part and the rotary table tries to move, the torque will increase for the rotary table motor. If the torque goes too high, it could break part of the milling head or the bits or ruin the part that is being milled. The safely limited torque function is activated when the rotary table moves between the stations. If the torque spikes because the operator's arm is in the way, or if one of the three operations is not finished, a safe standstill function will activate to monitor the motor as the machine controller brings it to a stop. Next time I'm going to talk about the safe position type of functions. Two functions are part of the safe position functions, safely limited position and safely limited increment. Both of these functions deal with monitoring the position of the motor. The safely limited position function is used to monitor the motor position so that it stays within a certain range when the safety trigger is present. This function prevents the machine from moving to a position that may create an unsafe interaction. Consider the following situation where shelf access equipment, like the one shown here, is moving items around on racking. The carriage moves to the requested rack position to remove the object from the rack. If the object is not fully on the carriage before it moves, collision with the rack can occur which could damage the rack, product, or carriage. When the object is picked from the rack, a sensor sends a signal to the safety PLC which activates the safely limited position function on the ASM7 card. The motor's position is monitored when the function is activated. If the carriage starts to move before the object is completely off the rack, a safe standstill function will activate to monitor the motor as the machine controller brings it to a stop. The safely limited increment function combines the safely limited position function with the safe operating stop function. The safely limited position function monitors the position of the machine for a set amount of time. When the safely limited position function's time is up, the safe operating stop function monitors the stopped position. This function prevents sequential machine operations from happening at the same time and causing damage to the machine or to an operator of the machine. Consider the following situation where a thin piece of metal is going through a metal press. Sheet metal is inserted at required intervals, and when it stops, the metal press comes down and bends the metal. When the press retracts, the sheet metal increments forward for the next bend. While the press is bending the metal, the safety PLC activates the safely limited increment function. The safely limited position part is enabled for a set monitoring time, and it monitors the position of the motor while it is bending the metal. When the monitoring time is up, the motor should have the press retracted and the safe operating stop part of the safely limited increment function is activated. This verifies that the press does not move down into the moving sheet of metal as it is incrementing for the next bend. If at any point safe limit violations occur, the ASM7 card will trigger a user-defined safe standstill function, which will monitor the motor as the machine controller brings the machine to a stop. The final two functions are solely used to monitor the motor and set safe outputs when violated. So these functions do not trigger safe standstill functions to bring the motor to a stop. Let's start by taking a look at the safe motor temperature monitor. This function monitors the motor temperature during operation using external probes that have been mounted on or near the motor. An output is deactivated when the temperature exceeds the defined limit and is activated when the temperature goes below the limit. Chemical processing applications and applications where the motor can burn the product can benefit from this safety monitoring function. For this function to work, an external temperature sensor is required. To have a safety integrity level of 3, a dual channel analog input is required. The ASM7 IO option card provides the dual channel analog input required for SIL 3 operation.
The Safe Speed Monitor function works similar to the Safe Limited Speed function. Instead of performing a Safe Stop function when the velocity limit is violated, an output is reset. When the velocity limit is met again, the output will turn back on. Typical uses of this function are for component maintenance like worn machine bearings, transmission wear, and belt wear. These maintenance items create friction and when worn, could slow down the machine. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on these safety functions, download the ASM7 safety manual from yaskawa.com.